Good morning, this is Pastor Lynn Lindy with Goodland United Methodist Church. Our morning Lenten devotion, we continue with the story of I Am Judas. I left you off yesterday telling you that you can't blame someone else for the things that you do, not even Satan. Maybe you would not be guilty of the same sins that spoiled my heart and life, but believe me, you are guilty, all of you. How many times have you told a lie and then tried to pass it off as nothing or loafed on the job and then excused yourself because others did the same thing? Haven't you ever kissed Jesus with the words that said you loved him but then stabbed him in the back by your gossiping or by your selfish misuse of the funds in your control? Oh, I know you might try to tell me that even if you have committed a few sins like that, they were puny in comparison to what I actually did when I betrayed Jesus. You might even take the heat off yourself by reminding me that I was there, that I heard Jesus speak, I saw his marvelous works, and the sad truth of that is, by golly, you're right. I was there. I saw Jesus heal the sick and give sight to the blind. I heard him speak about God's love and forgiveness. At least I heard the words. But as time went on, that love for money, for treasure that I could see and hold in my hand, drowned out everything Jesus tried to teach me. He told us that the kingdom of God is like a pearl of great price like a treasure beyond all comparison. He had warned us, what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and forfeits his life? Then there was the occasion when we were all at the house of a man named Simon, a leper whom he had cured. During dinner, Mary, the sister of Martha, came in. She carried some expensive ointment, and to my astonishment and that of all those around me, she poured it upon his feet, then wiped his feet with her hair. I protested loudly. After all, that ointment could have been sold for a tidy sum, and the money given to the poor. But deep in my heart, it wasn't the poor I was concerned about. I was thinking about me, myself. And I. Then, when Jesus actually praised Mary for her lavish display, that was too much for me. I went to the high priest Caiaphas and made a bargain with him. I had heard that they were looking for Jesus, so I agreed for 30 pieces of silver to lead a band of men to the spot where they could capture him. That's all it took. 30 pieces of silver. That was a lot of money. I would have enough money to buy a slave of my own. I sold my Lord for the price of a slave. I sold myself too. I sold my soul to Satan to be a slave of hell. Were you there? Did you ask? Yes, I was there. Oh, how I wish I had not been. I'm not the only traitor. Believe it or not, you were there too. I'll tell you 